With the advent of the digital age, technology has inevitably permeated every facet of society, leaving virtually no sphere unaltered. The law enforcement sector is no exception, and has seen the introduction and application of artificial intelligence, AI, specifically in the area of predictive policing. Predictive policing is an innovative approach that applies analytical techniques to identify probable criminal activity. It was first introduced in the 1990s stemming from a concept called hotspot policing. Initial models predominantly used historical crime data to predict future hotspots, creating a foundational reliance on past data, which includes where, when, and what types of crimes occurred. The increasing capabilities of AI, though, have transformed predictive policing, using machine learning algorithms to analyze extensive data sets, not limited to criminal data. Police departments worldwide now utilize AI to predict crime using variables like social media posts, weather patterns, socioeconomic status, and proximity to schools or parks. The significance of AI-informed predictive policing techniques is profound. First, it provides law enforcement with an advanced tool to deter and reduce crime by allowing them to be proactive and deploy resources more effectively. For instance, when an AI system identifies a pattern predicting heightened crime risk in a certain neighborhood during specific hours, police can increase patrol units during these times, potentially deterring criminals. The efficiency and cost-effectiveness of this model can translate to more robust public safety without needing to increase police personnel. Secondly, it offers a data-driven approach that can mitigate biased human decision-making. By basing decisions on data rather than intuition or inherent bias, AI-assisted predictive policing can potentially reduce discriminatory practices. However, the use of AI in predictive policing also brings forth significant criticisms and concerns, with the paramount being the possible perpetuation of existing systemic bias. AI systems rely on historical data, and if this data includes biased law enforcement activities, the AI will inadvertently adopt these biases, a kind of digital age, garbage in, garbage out conundrum. For instance, if past crime data shows disproportionate police activities in minority neighborhoods, without context, the AI system might identify these neighborhoods as high-risk areas, leading to over-policing. AI predictive models also risk invading privacy rights and civil liberties. As these systems use various data points, false positives can lead to wrongful accusations based on predictions, not criminal actions. This danger of misinterpretation or misuse amplifies when considering that an AI's decision-making mechanics, especially in complex machine learning models, often function like a black box, making explanations and accountability challenging. Moreover, the efficiency brought about by AI in predictive policing could also lead to an over-reliance on technology, resulting in the devaluation of traditional investigative work and street intelligence. In conclusion, AI's application in predictive policing is both a tool of unparalleled potential and a source of legitimate concern. It offers an avenue to fortify law enforcement's efficacy and efficiency, but simultaneously jeopardizes privacy and reinforces existing bias. Striking the right balance between exploiting technology's benefits and preserving individual liberties requires consistent dialogue and regulation. Transparency in algorithms, audit trails, and incorporating contextual understanding into AI predictive models could aid in minimizing the negatives while maximizing positives. The ultimate aim should be not just to predict crime, but to strive to understand the societal factors that contribute to it for a safer and equitable future.